Welcome to the party. It's your watch time, friend. If you're seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something. What's up guys, it's your girl D, and this is Watch Time Friends, where you watch stuff with me, your friend D, because my other friends don't like me like that. <laughs> Today we are back for another episode of Invincible. This is episode five. I mean, basically, we got tricked into meeting our dad again. Then as soon as we got there, he showed us his new family. Why am I saying us? This is this is my problem. He showed Mark his new family, and then they immediately got attacked by the Viltrumites, which we thought we had beaten, but we did not. So now they have captured Nolan, and General Krieg, I believe his name was, has given Mark the task to now take over Earth as Nolan was supposed to do. And if he doesn't comply, and if the people on Earth don't comply, they're gonna kill a lot of people. <laughs> is what they said <laughs> um i'm not saying that i don't believe them i absolutely believe them but i mean it is what it is so um, uh, i'm not really sure exactly what we're supposed to do about this so yeah i guess we just gonna have to see yeah pretty much <laughs> so i'm not gonna hold y'all up let's watch something if anyone is going to turn this organization around, it's going to be King Lizard. I need help here. Forgot about that. There's a lot of stuff that happened, honestly. <laughs> so many things. You will assume his mission and prepare the planet for our rule. Dang, y'all think no one's gonna make it up? Mm. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh. How is he supposed to get off of this planet? Is there another ship? Dang, they... They... Ran through everything here. The city... We can take you there. Dang. Hey, y'all. That's crazy. They probably would have been left alone if Nolan hadn't been there. Nolan? Where's Nolan? Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> the Viltrumites took him. The city, these people, it's all our fault. Our? If my dad and I hadn't been here, none of this would have happened. If your father hadn't been here, I wouldn't have a son. And if you hadn't been here, we both would have died. Thraxan lives are short compared to yours. Our culture doesn't assign blame. We only look forward. Eh. I guess it's not enough time to be upset and bitter about stuff. That's fair. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. Just rebuilt the whole castle. Huh? Is that the, is that the oh, dude hey. that drove Your us here? Time. Dang! I have good news. He's elderly. A ship to take you home. Thanks, but I can't go yet. There's still so much to do. Your people must need your strength. There's tons of heroes on Earth. I'm sure they got it covered. <laughs> Cut to them not having it covered. <laughs> Omnipotus! Okay. Tremble before my unlimited. Dang! Everybody pulled up. And I don't know who that one no. in the green floating is. Who that? Empress. Oh. New Alzad. Wait, what? Did you give Mark the news? I thought he'd be more pleased. Is that his stepmom? How long has he been there? She was. <laughs> what the heck? There's more to do here. And you've I've... helped enough. It's time you returned home. That's crazy. She's but elderly there is something too. Else I must ask of you. Does he have to take his brother? Take your brother with you. Yeah. Home to Earth. What? Oh, but how's he gonna tell his mom? What are you talking mom? about? You're his mom. Well, she about to die soon. Mark, look at me. Yeah. Look how much older I am than when you first arrived. Ah, <laughs> uh, we noticed. 
And he's still a baby. Your That's brother great. ages quicker than you, but far slower than my people. Aww. I'll be gone before he can form a sentence. Dang. When That's... Nolan was here, that was fine. He could be raised by his father. But now, everyone he knows here will soon be dead. Dang. Generations will pass before he's even adults. What mother would abandon him to a life like that? <laughs> Remember me, child. Someday, I hope you'll understand why I had to let you go. Oh, are we gonna be? Mark's gonna be a mentor now. Thanks, oh, Mom. Are you supposed to you tell mom. your mom, though? Oh boy. Debbie. Forgot to give you this. It's from all of us at the office. We all know how hard it's been for you, but it's good to have you back. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. Paul. I was gonna call him Robert. I didn't know what his name was. It looked like a Robert to me. <laughs> hey, Mom. We're back! I really wonder how long Mark. he's been gone. Oh. oh. Jesus, A couple Mark. weeks, probably. It's been two months. Oh! I try not to worry, but even Cecil's been frantic. Two he's... months. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, about that. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Um, well, see? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the words. This morning, I didn't even know if Nolan was alive. I, I, I didn't even know if I wanted him to be alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he's left another planet in ruins, and his... His new kid is sitting in my kitchen. Yeah. That's crazy. She's going to have to help raise her ex's new son. Mm. He's never on the hook for the lives he destroys. Just leaves it for everyone else to clean up again and again. I know. I know. What are we supposed to do with him? Children that age need constant care. He doesn't even have a name. Well, he ages fast. He won't stay a toddler for long. Maybe I could take a year off from college to look after him. What? No, absolutely not. I've been gone for two months. You know, it's not like my grades are going to be amazing anyway. True. And I changed a lot of diapers on the way home. What about Cecil? We can't. There's got to be other options. Like what? He's purple. I mean... Just say it's your cousin or something. <laughs> He's my brother. And I just I can't just abandon him. Well, you must get it from my side of the family. <laughs> Aww. Don't quit school, Mark. I'll figure something out. All right, have someone look into the siding. It's probably a hope. I wasn't looking forward to seeing Cecil again. But I do want to know what's going on with Donald. Is he a robot? Is he a clone? Like, Sir, what's up? may I have a minute? We're a little busy, Donald, if you hadn't noticed. No, I didn't, because you're just walking in a hallway. Everybody out! Okay. All right, Donald. Dang. Now. They ain't never heard Donald talk like this before. Dang. That's crazy. What? They said, must be something serious, because... Uh... Okay. After Omni-Man went bad last year... Mm -hmm. We blew up our surveillance house to stop him. Yeah. You triggered it after getting everyone to safety. So why don't I remember it? You were in shock. You got burned pretty bad. Is that what you call this? Oh! Sir, he is a robot. What did you do to me? Or maybe they just mm, replaced some of his parts with... Maybe he's not fully a robot? Lights. That's a whole robot skeleton. What is that? It's what we did to you. How? Omni-Man's body shielded you for most of the blast. When we pulled you out, your brain was intact. The rest of you, not so much. Huh. The rest of me? Cecil, what the hell am I now? You're you. But better. Stronger. All these people knew? And I didn't? PTSD's a bitch. We figured you'd be better off without it. You mean you'd be better off? You'd rather be dead? You know the world we live in, what the job is. You could have at least told him the truth. Cecil, I knew you were Back cold, out but slowly. I never knew you were... Back out sir. slowly. What? what? And that's more than enough philosophy for today. 
That sounds boring. <laughs> Since when did you start locking the window? Um, I started locking it after that giant bug dressed like a dog showed up. <laughs> did you save them from those meteors? Meteors? Oh, right. Um, yeah, no, they lied. Yes and no. You were gone a long time, like forever in college years. <laughs> Oh, is he you kicked need out? You to go see the dean, by the way. Something about academic probation. You said you'd cover for me. I did. I can't for cover while. for two, two months. months. Mark, that's more excuses than anyone can make up. I saw my dad. Your dad? I need to see Amber first. Oh, sure. Ditch me for your girlfriend, why don't you? That's what he's It'll doing. It'll give you time to put all my posters back up. Ah, ah. And when exactly were you planning to tell me you were back? I wasn't. Bye. I mean, it's not like you didn't know. You promised if I put you in the field, you'd follow orders. You don't get to pick and choose when that applies. I saved millions of lives out there, Cecil. And it looks like everything here was just fine. Things were just peachy. <laughs> That's one guy. You had one villain to, to take care of for two months. You had to put a whole world back together. Oh, do they still not know he's a Martian? At this point, they, he just should just, just, just tell them. You were off gallivanting with space bugs. What I did out there, what I found was important. You already know, don't you? you know what? We keep an eye on Debbie for her protection. Passive monitoring, mostly certain keywords trigger a closer listen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. You're angry about me not reporting in? I don't need to. You got cameras in my mom's house. That's actually gross. I'll send a team to pick up Nolan's kid. <gasps> Can't. No. What are you gonna do? Leave him with your mom? Yes. He's an alien. We're more qualified to take care of him. You're not qualified to brother, take care of anything. Call them off. Now. I'll check in tomorrow. Fine. I'm sure your mom will love looking after her ex-husband's new kid. All y'all are gonna do is poke and, poke and prod him. Mark! Oh my god, you're back! Oh, I missed you so much. They took me to this insane planet. <clears throat> Terrium in <laughs> uh, Philadelphia. Right. And I, you know, when I was visiting my aunt. Right. So the kid's at your mom's house now? For now. And I thought I had a crazy few months. What she, happened during your I, few I, months? College is no joke. I failed a sociology test that's worth a third of my grade. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Sociology wasn't my bad for me. died. I didn't take it too well. Oh. Yeah, I got through it. Funeral, coming back here. I didn't think it would be this complicated. Thought with my dad gone, he was at least done ruining my life. But... <laughs> Came back for another round. I'm glad you're back. Oh, what the? Um, hello? Someone help him! <laughs> Anybody? Please. Sir? Are you alright, sir? Oh. Something you need to see on our long-range scans, sir. Oh, great. This is stupid. I can see in the dark. That assumes you still have your eyes. Monster Girl, Kate! Shower off. Immortal, may I remind you that Monster Girl's transformations cause her to age in reverse? I know how my team's powers work. Then you must understand that this kind of training is hazardous for her. I can hear you, you know? I noticed the Immortal wasn't tracking your transformations. Oh, she's smaller now, I think. If you get this controlling after one date, there's not going to be another one. Dang. You only oh, had one date? It's been two months, you have another one? Canceled. Shut <laughs> up, up ah, Rex. Mother! <laughs> <sighs> Just call, please! We have a problem. It's coming from Mars, headed directly for Earth. Mars? It's packed to the gills with biomatter. I wonder if there's anyone here with insider knowledge of Mars. <laughs> Friend? Yes? I have a secret to unbury. Uh huh. I am not a human person from Earth like I once told you. We know you're a Martian. You all knew that? Son of a bitch. <laughs> what we don't know is how you got to Earth and why you're here. Far away on the planet Mars, 
Oh, so he was. Like all Martians, we use sequids as our servants, since they couldn't penetrate our shape-shifting skin, which is something they very much like to do. Huh. I wanted to see the stars, so when the opportunity presented itself, uh, I took it. Oh. I hitched a ride to Earth with your space people. And, and when I got here, I was inspired to do good and met all of you. Wait a second. <laughs> what happened to the real astronaut? <laughs> Okay, well, given our present situation and that uh -huh. big ship on its way here, yeah. one might assume he possibly became a possessed host for the singular and terrifying Sequid Hive Mind. Oh, great! Wow! Okay, so we have God knows how many of those things headed here, and, and they're capable of possessing a million more of us. Hang on! We're gonna believe this guy? Now I'm telling the truth. It's very different. You left an American astronaut oh, up there to I, die. I'll, I'll why are we He's not even from Earth? You think he cares about Americans? He didn't even know what an American was. The team will be me, Bulletproof, Black Samson, Monster Girl, and Shapesmith. Rex, Shrinking Ray, Kate, and Rudy, you'll hold things down here. There are millions of sequids on that ship, maybe hundreds of millions. We won't be enough. Look, I realize this is out of character, but I have an idea. Okay. I mean, aren't there more super teams? Like, call them up. Hey, she's still there after two months? What? <laughs> Probably been the worst. Two months after being free of her life. Probably doesn't even notice that she's probably miserable. You know, it's been like five years and your parents still haven't fixed the lock on Why you. Why is he here? I'm starting to wonder if maybe they want you to be abducted. I'm not in the mood, Rex. Oh, he's probably here to ask her for her help. Did you see what I did in Chicago? The park collapse? I heard about it, yeah. People almost got hurt. And then I took it out on Kill Cannon and people did get hurt. Everybody f***s up. Having powers isn't easy, but we do our best. Even assholes like me. You've saved so many people. And each time... You made this shitty, awful, terrible world a little bit better. Also, True. I checked on that couple you pulled from the river. Mm -hmm. They're going to make a full recovery because okay. of you. So dry your tears, tell your parents to go shove it up the and get back out there, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Thanks, Rex. Now, what do you want? It's delicious. Oh, okay. What are we gonna do with you? Maybe it's like at least plants? One human Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Jeez. Mark, we have a front door, you know. Aww, Sorry. he wants oh, to Oh, hey, Mr. Messy. How's he eating? Well, so far, he hates everything. Did you try kale? <laughs> hey, do you know where dead stuff is? I don't know, he's part I bug, so. Most of it. Give it to charity. What? You could have asked me first. Well, well you how? Were gone for two months. <laughs> and I couldn't live in limbo just waiting for you to come back. Where did it go? When the Viltrumites were taking Dad away, he told me to read his books. What if he hid something in them, like slid it between the pages? I don't know, run over to Goodwill. What? And it's not a good time, Cecil. I'm saying what to Cecil, not Goodwill. <laughs> Mark, I need you to go to space again. I wonder if he told anybody about the whole I have to take over Earth thing. Not some neighborhood babysitter. We have people for that. That's our decision, not yours. Stop trying to weasel your way in, Cecil. Jeez, this man is annoying as heck. Got room for one more? Eve! Eva! Reunited and it feels so good! But will you be vulnerable to these creatures? Uh, you're not That's the only question. one who can make a suit of armor. True. If you succeed, well, I taught you everything you know. <laughs> if not, <laughs> I guess we're all. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, you two may not know this or acknowledge it in any way, but... This guy's now the ranking guardian on Earth. Second rule, get ready, because we are just gonna chill out until those losers get back. Yeah, okay. 
Like there's gonna be two huge world-shattering emergencies at the same time. Oh! Right. <laughs> it's like you're, you've are you had your eyes closed this entire time. Like, what do you mean? There's always a life-threatening situation happening around here. Hey, who's there? Well, I, I know, I know it's not my break, but I, I miss lunch. Oh, get your damn snack and get out of- No oh, shoot! Gosh dang it. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that was unnecessary. Kill fast, ask questions later. Great. You want them to know we're here? Of course. Dad's a dick, but you win the shitty dad contest hands down. <laughs> yeah. Listen up. We need more information about the Martian ship. That ship is one of our warships. It's very big. There could be millions of sequids on it, but hopefully not. They're small. Before you said hundreds of thousands. Now it's millions. There must be Martians on board too. The sequids can't pilot a ship on their own. We should seek these Martians out. Make contact. The Martian ship is large, so we'll look like debris to them. Then we'll clamp on and cut an entry hole in the hull. The warship sensors are very powerful. They'll know the difference between space garbage and whatever we are. You're telling us this now? Yes, I'm telling you this now. <laughs> also, they won't hesitate to fire missiles when they spot us coming. Okay, great. Yes, those, look, th those are the missiles I was talking about. You should have said this. Oh my gosh. Everyone, close to me now. <laughs> Oh, great. Now we're just floating in space. Half pepperoni, half mushroom, an order of garlic knots, and some wings. Two garlic knots. No, no, no. Keep ordering, Ray. Cecil's just checking in to say hi, right, <laughs> Cecil? I'm not sure I can hold this together for ten minutes. Everyone who can fly, push towards the ship. What now? Oh, we could do that. Oh, hello. Is there oxygen on this? You're the one. You let all of this happen. You're humans. They'll enslave you immediately. We can withstand them. Ooh. We can. Gross. No! <laughs> Got it. They uh, share minds. Now all the yeah. sequins know you're here. It's like he wasn't listening at all. The king has a plan. Those nuclear blast doors, impenetrable from the outside. We've sealed the tunnel so there's no other way in. Now, we just sit here and wait for the you government to comply with our demands. <laughs> Die fast, assholes. My pizza's getting cold. <laughs> oh, gosh. You think you could stop us? You could not. Get them off him! It's the only way! Oh. There's too many! Y'all didn't want to bring any weapons with you. Oh. I disrupted their nervous systems, but they'll be awake again soon. Get close! So are y'all all lizards or like, why do y'all call yourselves that? I don't, I don't... Oh! oh. Mm, I thought these guys were supposed to suck. Ow. If you're dead, you can't pay for the pizza, Rex. Oh, gosh. This isn't good. We need at least one of them to survive. Oh, no. Gosh. You can do this. 
I can use my suit to build an amplifier for the pulse I used earlier. How long? Five minutes. One minute. I feel like we don't have that long. Ah. Oh, all right then. Oh, that's nasty. No, please. She doesn't stay small. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh. some garlic knots. <laughs> okay, it's time to get the heck out of here. Immediately. Oh, you're kidding. So brave. But is it the brave man who survives? Or is it the one who waits? Until his opponent is too injured to fight. You mean the one who lets everyone else do his dirty work? Come on, hold it together. You got this. Can't hold it. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. Are all of you penetratable? Because that would be very bad. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh. 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 Who is this? Oh. Alan? Oh, wow. Alan? I'm not dead. Hello? Hello? Okay. Well, this is great. Nice. <sighs> Oh no. Oh, I broke I broke it. I broke it. Dang you. Oh, this thing. I bet this is Oh, I bet this is expensive. Oh god. <laughs> huh. Huh. Oh, you got bigger. Look at that. Interesting. I am glad to see you in one piece, Alan of Unova. Yeah. He has one no very large and ripped piece. What is your deal, we bro? Brought you here after the Viltrumite attack. I turned off your life support machine. Okay, weird that you would tell him that. I knew without it, you would either die or recover stronger than before. You may now be able to stand your ground against a Viltrumite. Yeah, well, I appreciate your vote of confidence, but I'm not going to ask for a rematch anytime soon. If I even see another Viltrumite, I'm going to... Oh, what the... <laughs> Was that a fake beard the whole time, or did you just... I am the only Viltrumite to ever rebel against the Empire. Until you told me about Invincible. I need you to go back to Earth and bring Invincible here. He is the key to turning the tide of this war. Why did you have to wear a fake beard? <laughs> Wait, why was he... Why, why did you... Why was it, why was that the the part that like what <laughs> you didn't you don't wanna I don't freaking know that <laughs> this is just funny to me that's so funny all right so that was episode five of Invisible after. Having such a, I don't even know how long the break was from Invincible. I really did forget how chaotic and brutal this show is. And you know, they, um, they had us in the first. 
say add it to the first half. I really was like, my guard was down and everything, you know? I don't know why. That was dumb. <laughs> it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been. Dang. They really killed off Kate and uh, the girl that gets small. A bunch of the main, that might have been someone else that I'm forgetting. Almost possibly might get Rex as well. He's got a gun to his head. Not really sure how he's supposed to get out of that. <sighs> now a lot of our main heroes are in this room with a bunch of brain controlling sequids. I don't know how many of them are like susceptible, will be susceptible. I don't know how many of them will be susceptible to the sequids if they get to them. But honestly, if any of them get controlled by sequids, that's bad. They're not regular people. They have powers and them being controlled is not going to be good. Not to mention, I don't think Mark has told anybody about the Viltrumites that are definitely coming to Earth. And who knows how long. I'm also wondering how fast Mark's brother will age. Like, are we gonna get to see him be like 10 years old over the course of this season? That would be, that'd be cool. Because we don't even know, we don't know if you'll have like powers or like he could be, you know, him and Mark could be like little super sibling team. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I really don't really know <laughs> what to expect from him. I mean, he is half Viltrumite, so that's something. But I mean, Mark was, I mean, not Mark. Nolan was worried that Mark wasn't going to get any powers because he was only half Viltrumite. So it is a possibility that Mark's brother could not get any powers. We actually just don't even know because, I mean, according to, according to the lore, crossbreeding or whatever is um against the rules so i don't they probably don't have that many examples of what happens with a kid mixed with viltrumite and something not close to the viltrumite species so we actually don't know what's gonna happen um, or i have no idea i'm hoping he gets powers and you know and then we just yeah we become a little super team but how fast is that gonna happen i mean Hopefully he doesn't age too fast. Maybe only like a little bit faster than us. Like instead of, I mean, his lifespan will be bet in between a year and thousands of years. <laughs> Somewhere in between there. Because I think the Thraxans only live a year, they said. And then Viltrumites live thousands of years. So somewhere in between there. Probably more than humans though. So maybe he'll only live 500 years if he doesn't get killed other than that i'm really excited to see what we get for the rest of the season they could do a lot i'm not really sure we still got we still got um oh what's his face um mega mind guy oh i forgot we still have him to worry about as well i totally forgot about him winston his name winston yeah so we might he even might pop up dang there's a lot that could happen i i don't know i am not prepared but i am seated and i will be watching all of it it's definitely one of my favorite shows so yeah if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much for watching with me if you like this video you can leave a like and if you want to see more from me consider subscribing <laughs> that's gonna be a wrap on this one but i hope to see you guys in the next one peace welcome to the party it's your watch time friend if you see me if you're listening then it's time to watch